Hello everybody, welcome to Dakman Productions and welcome to my Atlas Air Room. I decided to make this part of Conaghy Rail also part of my Atlas Air collection to display them. And anybody who knows uh, the Dakman knows that I am a big Atlas Air fan. So back in 2015 when I first got back into Air Gage again for the second time, um, I got the... Uh, you know, I went to train shows and and got to know the independent high railers and they there was a, a quite a few members that were uh, huge fans of Atlas O and they showed me a couple pieces so I bought my first piece an Atlas O Conrail cylinder hopper. From there I was hooked. Uh, the Atlas O quality is not none other than top notch. It's it beats the details on MTH and Lion. Also, in the same token, at the so, especially the Master Series, can be very delicate. So you have to watch how you handle it. Or you could break off pieces. There are fine details on there. So that brings us up to our next thing. Uh, Atlas O has recently announced a new Atlas O Premier Catalog. Now, for those who aren't familiar or a little f behind on the news... Uh, recently, or not recently, but in the last three or four months, Atlas uh, bought some, not all, but a few select molds from MTH. And uh, the, what they did purchase, or what Atlas had purchased, they're calling it the uh, Atlas Premier Series. And it comes in a different box than what you're seeing here. So now you're going to have the uh, Atlas of Master Series. The Atlas O Trainman series and now the Atlas uh, Premier series. So now there's three series all together. Not sure what they're doing with Industrial Rail. That has not been mentioned in quite some time. For those who are not familiar, the Atlas Industrial Rail is actually O27 or a semi scale or traditional size, it's not full scale. So uh, Atlas was on the uh, Train World Live uh, show on YouTube. I uh, did watch it. Uh, some pretty exciting stuff. Uh, so we'll go back through the catalog and give you my thoughts. And uh, we'll go over some things. Uh, but they did announce, uh, Atlas O did announce new uh, road names and certain premier uh, locomotives. Um, premier uh, rolling stock that they acquired. As well as uh, coming out with a uh, uh, one of their original locomotives which we'll look at. During the live show I noticed there was a, a couple of questions that kept reoccurring and I'll answer those to the viewers who were either late to the show, didn't get to see the show. So the one of the biggest questions that I saw being asked is um, does the uh, Atlas Premier Series rolling stock have rotating wheel bearing caps? Any answer to that would be no. The Atlas uh, Premier Series is still using the NTH trucks which do not feature the rotating wheel bearing caps which was one of my pet peeves with <laughs> MTH Premier. I mean they were so close to having a great car and they just had to take that one more step to make rotating wheel bearing caps to make it you know pretty much perfect. In a sense. That's just my opinion. This is a MTH Premier uh, Snowplow Caboose and the Conrail Road name. Uh, there you go. And so uh, some people were asking about the new Atlas O Premier series. So at, this is one of the cars that Atlas O bought, one of the molds, and it came out with some new road names. Uh, so questions were, does this smoke? The answer to that would be no. Does it have sounds? No, it does not. Does it have lights? Yes, this, this is lighted. So it does feature lights. I didn't think it did, but it does. Uh, it does have um, rollers on the bottom of it, so this is lighted. Another question, or the third question being asked that was most common is, what did Atlas O do, if anything, to improve the MTH versions? 
Uh, I guess that remains to be seen when somebody from YouTube, you know, buys uh, an Atlas Premiere series and reviews it next to maybe perhaps an MTH Premiere to see if there were any changes, if any. Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at the Atlas of Premiere catalog. For those who may not know, Dakman Productions has started an Atlas O2 and 3 rail group on Facebook. Now, there was a member who did buy the Atlas O Premier uh, rolling stock, and he gave his own spin and opinion on them, uh, his own little review. He did say he noticed that there was a change in uh, details. Uh, the Atlas O uh, Premier rolling stock, he said that he received had separately applied ladders and grab rail. The member also mentions that the car ends, uh, they seem to improve that as well. It's more prototypical looking. Uh, so I'm just reading off his, uh, what he had uh, wrote in this particular post. Um, so, and he thought that the graphics was a lot more crisp and prototypical over what MTH was doing. Okay, right on the front of the Premier Catalog, the Winter 2021 to 2022 Catalog, is a uh, Amtrak P42. So I'm sure there will be people who are going to be excited over that. And uh, on another note, uh, a lot of the things I'm going to look at here is going to be on my own personal interest, but you can always go on the Atlas's uh, website. And uh, look at the catalog yourself. And here we go. We got the uh, Atlas O Deer O Scale Modeler. And they uh, talk to you about uh, how uh, Atlas O basically bought some of the uh, MTH molds and they're uh, coming out with uh, some new stuff. They're making this announcement of new Atlas O Premiere. The next page is just the table contents uh, of all the different things that they're announcing. So we're going to go ahead and go on to the next page. So here we have the uh, new Atlas O model uh, in the uh, Amtrak, the P42. Uh, this will have the MTH Protosound 3 uh, since it is uh, an MTH, uh, an XMTH mold. So any of the uh, Atlas Premier locomotives will still have the uh, Premier, or it will still have the uh, DCS Protosound 3. Now, I know there was people in the chat during the uh, live show uh, with Train World. People were asking, will it come with uh, Lionel TMCC and or Legacy? And the answer to that would be no. So we're going to go ahead and uh, scroll down, and you can see the uh, the different Amtrak uh, paint schemes that they have announced on the uh, P42. Now, the one thing that Atlas did say, uh, for those who are wondering, these will be available in both two rail and three rail. So they did say be careful when pre-ordering that you are ordering a three rail version if you are a three railer. Uh, and here you can see turn to pages eight through eleven to check out the matching Premier and Fleet passenger cars. We'll look at them here. Now, uh, Atlas O made the uh, Amtrak Phase 150th um, cars to match the uh, P42, but they did mention that they're not actually prototypical and Amtrak was not going to paint uh, the passenger cars, really paint them that color. And then we'll scroll, scroll through. I don't know there's going to be interest in a lot of this Amtrak. Um, and we'll keep scrolling through here. And 
here is uh, Antrax uh, new colors. I'm not an Antrax fan, so I'm not exactly sure if they're prototypical or not, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm sort of going through this pretty quickly because I really don't want to take up everybody's time on my thoughts and stuff like that. You can check your local dealers for pricing. One of the things that uh, really caught my eye since uh, I'm an old school fan or a fan of old school locomotives is the F40PH is one of my favorite passenger locomotives. And uh, sorry, I am not a fan of the P42. Uh, I know people also like unfriend. But at any rate, I... I I just like the F40PH. That's just my preference. I love that locomotive, and it was a great locomotive. It was around for a very long time and very dependable. Um, and they're actually doing uh, two different road or road names and that I would be interested in would be the New Jersey Transit and that Amtrak. I mean, that's like a dream come true to me, but anybody who knows anything about Dakman knows that Dakman is a Lionel Legacy or TNCC fan. I'm not really a DCS fan, so that's sort of like a little turn off for me. Uh, and then once again, people are probably saying unfriend, but everybody's got the preference. Some some people love the MTH Premier and they make and it works for them. And there's people like me who like Lionel Legacy or TNCC, and it works for me. Everybody's got their own preference, and that's okay. Uh, one of the questions was being asked is if you could easily switch uh, the DCS over to TMCC or Legacy. And I'm going to leave that to somebody a lot more technical than me, but I'm pretty sure you got to rip out all the boards and and the RPM tape on the motors are, is different. So, uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I don't think it's as easy as it sounds, but unfortunately in the world of O-Gage, it's not like HO where it's, you know, DCC where you can just take a board out and, like, take a Tsunami board out and put uh, something else in there that you like. Uh, it's not like that in the world of O-Gage, unfortunately. So we'll keep going. Um I, I'm thinking that MBTA locomotive is going to be a good seller. Uh, like I said, I just love the F40PH. I'm going to keep scrolling here. Um, Now we have the matching coach cars for the F40PH. Uh, once again, the New Jersey Transit Coach um, and the MBTA cab car. Then you got the cab cars, uh, the Amtrak Horizon Coach. So there's uh, a couple, you know, there's quite a few cool things that they're doing. I, I do like the fact that they're, they're on Amtrak. It's, I think Amtrak has been long missing for a while. It's been a while since anybody's produced an Amtrak or New Jersey Transit for that fact. I'm glad to see that they're doing that New Jersey Transit as well. Okay, so next up is the Atlas O uh, F7 locomotive. This is an original Atlas O piece. This is not an MTH piece. So this is going to have uh, TMCC in it instead of DCS. Uh, the, one of the things that these could actually uh, be improved upon is if you were to add a uh, road command or cruise commander by ERR. Um, I'm surprised that Atlas O don't do it themselves, but. I've, I've had TMCC without Cruise and it, or Odyssey, and it's really a pain in the butt. Um, <laughs> it's just, once again, it's my personal preference. But once again, these uh, F7s are going to be TMCC and not DCS. 
and it gives you a whole bunch of information on your bound. You can go back and read the catalog once the, again. I'm just going through this pretty quickly, so and giving you my spin on things. And next we have the uh, Cena Capola Caboose. Um, I have actually ordered a. Uh, and this is actually a, a train man as well. So, uh, and this is not a premiere. I actually ordered the um, Jersey Central. It's a very nice caboose. The difference between the Atlas Master and the Atlas Train Man is that the Train Man does not have an interior and the Atlas Master Series does. So that's why the Master Series costs so much more than a Train Man Series. Uh, for those who did not know. And we'll go ahead and scroll through this again. Here was the um, the uh, former MTH molds I was talking about, the snow piles. Uh, people were asking if they had sound and smoke. I mean, those, that they're all cool features that these did have sound and smoke, but it will also drive the price of them up as well. So at least they're lighted. Uh, they do have lighting features in them, but there are no sounds and there, are, there isn't any smoke. Once again, not sure if, uh, if or how Atlas O improved upon those, but I had the MTH Conrail version. And then we move on to the Premier Three Bay Center Flow Hoppers, uh, and, and these are I I do like these. They it looks like they did a nice job. Um, I really like that Grand Trunk, um, and you would have thought I would like the BNSF a little bit more because it's more modern. But no, I like the Grand Trunk a lot. Uh, then you have Union Pacific. Now they did they're offering uh, a four pack uh, on a couple road names, not all of them. So you have to go back to the catalog and see that. And people were asking why they didn't just offer a four pack on all the road names instead of just certain ones. Um, but that question didn't get answered. Next up is the Atlas O Premier 55 foot all door box car. These are all pretty cool, but no road names that I would buy. Um, the outdoor box cars do seem to sell pretty well uh, when they do make them. Now, this is the one I would have liked to have seen Atlas make this Boise Cascade um, for an outdoor box car. And for those not familiar, the outdoor box car is actually hall plywood. That's what they were meant for the hall plywood long distances and keep them from getting wet. Uh, here's something cool. The Atlas O Premier Crane Car. Um, Atlas O did also get the uh, crane molds from MTH. Uh, this is a very cool addition. I actually have two, con two of the Conrail versions of when MTH was making them. I had the Conrail in blue and the Conroe and Black Crane. These cranes are very nice. They actually do work. There's two cranks that come with them to raise the boom up and down. Uh, there's another crank wheel that uh, does work the hoist. So these are operational. There's no sounds to them, and they are manual uh, cranks. They're not, you know, they're not remote controlled by any means at all. And you can see the different road names. Uh, so what Atlas did this time around is they're trying to offer road names that MTH has not done uh, so far, you know, before selling the molds. And we're going along here. And then to go with them, of course, you have the crane tender. Um, the Clinchfield, the Kansas City Southern, Uncle Plate Road. So, once again, they're doing the different road names. Um, on another, the snow plows will not be two rail. They said the only thing that will not be two rail is the snow plow because they 
couldn't get it to uh, to work. Uh, the crane car is a nice addition. Here's something that I think is cool. The uh, the premier scale test car. It's been quite some time since MTH made the scale test car. I would like to see in a Conrail version. So we'll go ahead and scan along and again. And then you have uh, their announcements. So uh, they're doing this Let Freedom Ring at um, 4th of July commemorative model. Um, they got this uh, Happy St. Patrick's Day. So they're doing some uh, different things here. And uh, I I think this is going to be a good one, this Multimax. So uh, Atlas O is actually coming out with an auto rack called the Multimax. Uh, so what some people are probably wondering, well, why would Atlas O uh, come out with an auto rack when Lionel has a scale size auto rack? Well, the Lionel scale-sized Autorack is actually an older Gunnarsson. And so the Multimax is more of a current, um, more modern Autorack. It would be more correct for Norfolk Southern, CSX, BNSF, TTX, so forth and so on. Then you have the Atlas of the vehicles in stock. So they do a multitude of different things. And uh, we're just scrolling through this catalog. Uh, here you go. Here's some uh, accessories from the uh, MTH uh, that Atlas o had bought the traffic lights. Um, not sure about the telephone poles. There is a MTH accessories there that they bought. Um, you have figures, you got motorcycles. Uh, and then you can see they're advertising the uh, MTH uh, transformers here. So they're once again, um, NSO is doing quite a bit. You can see uh, the timeline on some of the stuff. But you can actually go online and, and read the catalog. Because uh, I know I'm going through all this fast. And I know a lot of this stuff has dried up to where, you know, it's not available like that Wi-Fi interface unit. I know people have been waiting or looking for one of them. So uh, the pre-orders are due soon. You can see uh, the pre-orders and all this stuff is due by January 19th of 2022. Um with the exception of the passenger cars, they're due a little bit sooner because they were already announced back in 2019. So if you see anything you like, uh, make sure uh, you pre-order it. Uh, somebody, uh, actually, I think it was Ken Bianco had asked Atlas, what about their track? What's going on with their track? Um, Atlas O pretty much said, you know, there's they got some things going on that they're trying to iron out, um, but they're hoping it will be available soon. And uh, you can see some uh, ac accessories here. Um, but yeah, uh, you can go on the Atlas website and um, view this stuff. Now, here you go. Here's a 2022 annual club car, the Atlas Air Premier 40 PS1 box car with a six foot door. So this is part of the uh, 2022 Golden Spike Club membership. So you join this Atlas O uh, Golden Spike Club and you get some of the benefits of, uh, you know, like that limited edition car. Uh, you get the opportunity to buy uh, or get on the discount warehouse buys that they have. Uh, so there are some things that go along with it. All right, so this is going to conclude uh, looking at the uh, um, Atlas Air Premier uh, catalog. A lot of stuff from the former uh, MTH Premier lineup. 
and we'll see you guys next video. Thanks a lot.